Hey, I learned. You got this dance we want to show you. How you to next, do. shorty. <laughs> Purr. Period. Okay. Bye, guys. You may have seen Baltimore native Shawnee Malone take home $10,000 a few weeks ago on Ultimate Tag here on Fox 45. We saw her. We were pretty happy for her. But the college athlete overcame a lot of adversity to get to where she is now, Mary. Yeah, that's right. In tonight's Maryland Moments, photojournalist Ben Worsley introduces us to Krishan Malone. Tonight on Ultimate Tag, please welcome Krishan Shawnee Malone. Her name shouldn't be Donna Mike. What, why? Go the route. Oh, oh, no. oh, she's slow. Three, two, one. Well, I attended at Santa Monica in California. Two years, I ran track. Krishan on the track is a beast. It's my world. She likes to outdo herself. Make a new day. Like I yell, scream. Set, ooh. Gosh. Overcoming, that's what she's supposed to do. This is where I release all my anxiety. What I come from is kind of what a, like people wouldn't expect. You wouldn't know until I say something. I'm 20 right now. I'm six years older. I'm a family of... Well, a sibling of 12. I'm number eight. <laughs> I'm number eight out of 12. Krishan is number 11. I grew up a lot of areas. Radish, Franklin, McCullough. My dad was incarcerated for 11 years. My mom was at work a lot. Yeah, like, and then, like, she, she was on drugs. When I was little, she used to braid my hair and walk me to school. She used to braid my hair, walk me to school, and things like that. Um, and then it starts slowly progressing to her always in the bed. Um, I, I witnessed my dad, you know, abuse her. I met him when I was seven because he came home. He was locked up for a lot. For like, I don't know how long. I went through abuse, so like getting like either choked out or like beat on. We went from one, like probably one bedroom apartment, and it's all of us, to living with people. I say nine years I've been homeless for. When I was nine and when I first went homeless and when she said we was going to get a home, like, I kept believing that. And it ended up being like, oh, I'm, I'm 15, 16 now. I'll go through all my day because I'm focused in my class, my friends, oh, at lunch, oh, we're going, oh, I got training with this coach. But then when all that's over, I'm like, oh, shit. I don't have a home. I start getting love and support from like my coaches, my friends, and things like that. And then everything just start changing for me. Here's Shawnee. I'm the youngest in the competition. I've been through more than most. It was a struggle growing up. My show called, I was like so overwhelmed. Like, okay, cool, you want me to come on? I've been tapped in beast mode this whole time. I'm ready to just win this money. Let's go. Oh, I won. I won the money. I went on there. It was like, yeah, we, we knew Krishan was just coming here for the money. Yes. I need the money. It's not a sad story, it's a motivation story. <laughs> but how she keep her legs doesn't be like. For her to be, still be up on top, like, hey, I'm right here, that shows you that she is a warrior. As a young, black, beautiful woman, I am a survivor. She's a champion, period. Just breathe. Since I didn't have the childhood I should have, Set. then I can have the future that I deserve. Go. She is so fast and so incredible. She deserves all that money and so much more. Krishan, thank you for sharing your incredible story with us. Basically, y'all watched the little video and yeah, it said that I went through abuse. I didn't say who exactly I went through abuse with. So I didn't, that's, don't put it on my dad because my dad, he was rough with me, but he ain't never really abused me, but yeah. That was that. I want to clear that part up. And I don't know what else, what you got to say about it. I just want to know, it's upsetting me and my sister that if we can't party at, um, at Fox 45, then where can we party at? People fight at their weddings all the time. If you was beefing at that wedding, you should have been beefing at that wedding. Why would you bring that to somebody else's club? <laughs> That's safe. All right. <laughs>
That's, that's all I had to say. That's all she had to say. It's upset me and my homegirl. And we can't party and we <laughs> never said nothing about my mother. We would never disrespect my mother like that. All right. <laughs> okay. I forgot something else. I, I ran track since I was in seventh grade. My first year of running track, I qualified to go to the Junior Olympics. I ran for this team called I Five Elite. They're dope as hell. Um, and once I got that exposure and traveling the world, I went to Michigan, Iowa, Florida, Atlanta. Texas, like I was traveling just for track and just qualifying for Junior Olympics. That just got me dope experience. That's the real story for real. And um, I only attended at Santa Monica for like a year. And I, that was my second year of college. My first year of college, I was at Feather River College and I ran track there. And that's where I could have had the opportunity to win all conference. Like some of the story kind of got all mixed up. And then, um, I had an opportunity to win all conference or an opportunity to go on the show. For my first year of college, I had two options. Run all conference and win it, or go to the TV and show and win that break. And I just picked whatever I want.